Well, when I was elected and I was told I was there, I knew I had become a Khalifa. That was that and I felt awful. <laughs> <laughs> The person who is elected doesn't propose his name. Most often than not, he tries to keep away from such responsibilities, to shun the responsibilities. But when imposed, then he goes forward like a brave man and carries them. What is happening in Pakistan is a dictatorship and they know it, everybody knows it. How can I work in Pakistan under this ordinance as Khalifa? So I can't live there for a single moment without relinquishing my office. I kept on telling Ahmadis to give, go closer to Allah. There our safety lay and nowhere else. <laughs> Those who stood for Pakistan, who sacrificed all they had for the sake of Pakistan, who suffered for Pakistan, they are left aside as enemies of Pakistan. I came here in 1984 November and I went to Pakistan back on 1990 once and then I didn't go. It was uh, 2003 when I requested Hazur that I would like to visit once Pakistan with my family. So he was really shocked. He said, you haven't been to Pakistan for the last 13 years? I said, no, sir. So he said, no, you must go. Then we had a mulakat before leaving. Then he gave my wife 400 pounds. Okay, look, this is your expenditure in, the, in Pakistan. So I went to Karachi after three days. I was coming when I got a message from Nasser Said, my second in command here, that Hazur has died. So it was a big shock. April 2003. The Amdiya Muslim community is facing a crisis following the demise of its Khalifa, Hazrat Mirza Tahir Ahmed. Rahmullah. His closest aides are in shock, not least head of security Major Mahmoud Ahmed, who is doubly devastated to have been so far during his master's final hours. Stranded in Karachi, Major Sahib phones Pakistan's most senior administrator, the Nazir Allah. Sahib Zada Mirza Masroor Ahmed for guidance. This is what I want to say that <coughs> unfortunately I was not there at that time. So <coughs> I rang up Mia Masroor Ahmed at that time and after condolence I asked him what are instructions for me? So, so he said, <laughs> go back immediately and take over. He was 
much calmer than me. I was weeping, but he was okay. He was telling me, okay, it's all right, part of life. He gave me encouragement and he said, you immediately go back. Sabzada Mirza Masroor Ahmed is a nephew of the late Khalifa. He has been a life devotee of the MDA Muslim community for over two decades, including eight years in Ghana, Africa. In recent years, Sahib Zada Mirza Masur Ahmed has served with distinction as the Nazir Ala of Pakistan, becoming a great favorite of his Khalifa. Of all of Hazrat Khalifa Masih Rabe's nephews who were working in Pakistan, who were Vakfi in Zindagi, Hazrat would always refer to them by their first name. But he would always call him Mia Masroor. And he would speak with a lot of affection. Hazur would really trust in Sahib Zada Mirza Masur Ahmed Sahib's judgment. On a number of occasions, I heard him say something like, because Mia Masur has said this, then this is how we're going to do it. And then in 2001, I visited Pakistan for a few weeks. And before I was leaving, Hazrat Khalif Masih Rabbi told me to stay close to Mia Masur. And he said that anything you need, if, there's, if you have any issues there, turn to Mia Masur. However, the Nazir Allah's prominent position has made him the innocent target of state-sponsored persecution. Ekbar. غلط جھوٹا مقدمہ قائم ہوا تھا اس کی وجہ سے حضور اور دو یا تین اور افراد تھے وہ ان کو پولیس نے پکڑ لیا تھا اور جیل لے گئے تھے کیس تو تھا کافی دیر وہ جاری رہا جیل میں رہے اس دوران میں بڑی پریشانی بھی تھی کوئی سمجھ نہیں آ رہا تھا کہ کس طرح یہ ریزالو ہوگا اور کوئی ایسی امید نہیں تھی کہ حکومت جو ہے وہ مانے گی ریلیز کرنا اور بیل ہو ہو سکے گی ضمانت ہو سکے گی تو اس کے باوجود بھی میں ایک بار گیا بھی جیل ملنے کے لیے حضور سے تو اور بہت سارے لوگوں نے بھی گئے ملنے کے لیے جیل تو یہی دیکھا کہ حضور بڑی تسلی سے آرام سے ہوتے تھے جیل میں اور جب کوئی ملنے آتا تھا تو بجائے اس کے دوسرے لوگ حضور کو تسلی دیں حضور ان کو تسلی دیا دے رہے ہوتے تھے موڈ لائٹ کرنے کے لیے کوئی مذاق کیا کرتے تھے حضور تاکہ اگر کوئی بہت سنجیدہ نظر آ رہا ہو نا 
تو حضور کی اکثر کوئی ایسا مذاق لائک کرنے کے لیے کر دیا کرتے تھے ناؤ صاحبزادہ مرزا مسور احمد فیسز اے کرائسس فار گریٹر دین ہز ٹائم ان جیل دا خلیفہ ہیز پاسڈ اوے بٹ ناٹ ود آؤٹ لیونگ ڈیٹیلڈ انسٹرکشنز فار ہز فالوورز ان 1999 حضرت خلیفۃ المسیح دی فورتھ رحم اللہ تعالی فیل ایل اینڈ اٹ واز ڈسائڈڈ بائی صدر انجمن احمدیہ اینڈ تحریک جدید انجمن احمدیہ that two of their representatives should go to London and inquire about Huzur's health. So, Hazrat Sahib Zadah Mirza Khurshid Ahmad Samurhum and my sir were nominated for this purpose. We met to London, met Huzur, inquired about his health. After two or three days, Huzur called us into his office. and directed us to bring a copy of the rules and regulations concerning the election of Khalifatul Masih. And he asked us to make some amendments in the rules. One amendment was that the election will take place in Masjid Fazl, London. Secondly, he said, the Sadar Anjuman Ahmadiyya, Pakistan, at Rawa, will control the election affairs and the related arrangements. And the Jamaat people in London, they will take every step with the permission of Sadar Anjuman Ahmadiyya, Rawa. As the most senior office bearer of the Sadar Anjuman, a heavy burden now falls on Sahibzada Mirza Masroor Ahmed, who must take responsibility for the Ahmadiyya Muslim community in the critical days ahead. After that, the previous election of the election of the election was also removed, which was in a house, in a house, in a safe house. It was also put in the house of Mia Khurshid, that it was removed from the house. I went to him with him, اس گھر میں وہاں سے سیف سے وہ کاروائی نکالی اس کے بعد وہ انہوں نے مجھے دی کہ یہ حضرت صاحب کی خدمت میں مطلب ناسا والا کو دے کے آؤ تو وہ میں لے کے پہلے ہم لوگ انجمن کے دفتر گئے لیکن وہاں سے وہ آ چکے تھے تو جب میں گھر گیا حضرت مرزا مسرور احمد صاحب کے تو حضور اندر نماز پڑھ رہے تھے کمرے میں سجدے میں تھے ہچکیوں کے ساتھ رو رہے تھے میں شدت کے ساتھ انتہائی گری اوزاری کے ساتھ رو رہے تھے میں نے پہلے کبھی حضرت صاحب کو اس حالت میں نہیں دیکھا تھا نماز پڑھتے میں نے مسجد میں ہی پڑھتے تھے ظاہر ہے وہ تنہائی کی نماز تو اس طرح نہیں میں کہہ سکتا کہ وہ تھی لیکن مسجد میں اس وقت جو حالت تھی حضرت صاحب کی وہ انتہائی غم کی اور گری اوزاری اور دعائیں بے تحاشا بہت اور میں وہاں بیٹھا رہا حضرت صاحب کا انتظار کرتا رہا کہ کیونکہ وہ میں چیز لے کے بھی ساتھ نہیں جا سکتا تھا وہ کاغذات وہ حضور کو میں نے دینے تھے تو تب ہی جانا تھا تو کافی دیر مجھے انتظار کرنا پڑا حضرت صاحب نماز میں مصروف رہے اس کے بعد پھر جب نماز ختم ہوئی تو پھر حضور تشریف لائے تو ان کی خدمت میں نے پیش کی While senior office bearers and direct family are already aware of the situation Sahibzada Mirza Masur Ahmed must now inform the wider community I think it was about midday that we got uh, message again from Sahibzad Adami Samsur Ahmed to say that uh, uh, private secretary should make an announcement on MTA of Zul's demise. Munir Javed Sahib called and he said, um, I'm coming to record um, a message. Without saying what it is, um, he came to the studio. As he started speaking in Arabic, the early words of, of that message were in Arabic. I knew immediately before he even spoke in Urdu and the rest of my um, colleagues were there. I, I just couldn't hold uh, myself from bursting into... Kullu man alayha faan wa yabka wajhu rabbe ka zul jalal wal ikram intihai ranj aur gham aur dukh ke saath 
تمام جماعت ہائے احمدی عالمگیر کو اطلاع دی جاتی ہے کہ آج مورخہ انیس اپریل دو ہزار تین صبح ساڑھے نو بجے سیدنا و مولانا حضرت مرزا تاہر احمد خلیفة المسیح رابع بقدائے الہی حرکت قلب بند ہو جانے سے وفات پا گئے ہیں اِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ خدا تعالیٰ نے کبھی جماعت احمدیہ کو بے یار و مددگار نہیں چھوڑا اب بھی وہی خدا ہمارا حامی اور مددگار اور محافظ ہوگا انشاءاللہ العزیز مرزا مسرور احمد ناظر اعلیٰ صدر صدر انجمن احمدیہ پاکستان ربوہ There was a corner next to the Mood Hall where now the sort of MTA transmission department is. And all the Ahmadis that were there on that day were just huddled there. They weren't moving, they weren't talking. There was a great sort of a sense of anxiety and a great sense of confusion amongst all of them. And I just remember this sort of, um, the stillness, how still, Still, everything was. The news was reached in the entire Rabba. People knew how to get to know. And people were coming. So, the Lord was getting a lot of people from that time. They were getting a lot of people from that time. And in the case of this, the Lord had to go out for a few hours. And he had to go out for a few hours. And he had to go out for a few hours. As the day unfolds, senior representatives of the Amdiya Muslim community are summoned from around the world to the London Mosque for an electoral college that will select the new Khalifa. However, it is the start of a bank holiday weekend and the UK's official bodies will not issue any visas to enter the country for three days. Imam Saab called me and he asked me uh, your name in the uh, member of the committee of the Khilafat and uh, please come to London as soon as possible. This is uh, like someone put uh, a mountain of, on my shoulder and uh, really I was afraid. I realized that uh, we, were, we will have problems. We had to get the electoral college down here quickly and it is possible that some people's visas may not be processed or what have you. So I rang Tony Coleman, who was the local member of parliament here. So he came into my office, sat next door, and he, from here he started making telephone calls to the home office. The late Khalifa was as a father to me. Can I say that my granddaughter suffered from childhood leukemia and came very close to death? And one of the things that helped her recover, her name is Evie, was actually the um, medicines which the late Khalifa mixed for her. The impact of what Tony Coleman did only came later because um, when people started arriving here, uh, a delegation that came from Japan said that when they found out about this incident, uh, they went to the embassy to get visas and the embassy said, you must be joking. It's bank holiday, we are closed, you can't. Earliest you can do is Tuesday, when we'll reopen. And they said they were very disappointed, they went back. And they said that uh, literally in a few hours later, they got a call from the embassy saying, we've had instructions from London that a visa should be issued to you immediately. And throughout the world, messages went out from the foreign office that Ahmadis who wanted to come should be issued visas. For instance, in Germany, where we had large communities, I was told that there, you know, the uh, embassy stayed open all night. And in fact, they even got some of our Ahmadis to help them to issue visas to people who wanted to come. Sahabzada Mirza Masrur Ahmad must now depart Rabwa for London. He hopes to return in a week with the permission of whosoever is elected Khalifa. As he leaves, he visits some elder relatives in Ravva, including Hazrat Mirza Tahir Ahmed Rahmullah's sister, Sahibzadi Amtul Basit. He was there only for a minute or two, if I remember correctly. So he just, he came and said, um, 
I'm leaving and you know, please pray. And, and then I think he left and she walked him to the door. But he was also, I think, uh, not in a hurry or rush, but you know, he was, you know, he was very to the point, but also very calm. A convoy of 14 senior office bearers now departs Zarabha for a long journey, the first leg of which is by car to Lahore. <laughs> Asadullah sahab ko kaha ke hum is time tak pahunchenge jab to usse pehle koi gaadi aapki aage ja ke pehle chai wagaira banwa le aur jaise hi ye log pahunchte hain kafla pahunchta hai to inko chai wagaira pesh kar de aur jitne usul khane jana hai wo wahan se farig ho jaye khair log kafla ruka wahan pe chand log utre usul khane jane ke liye to itni der mein wo chai leke aa gaye ek saab to maine chai ka buzurgon ko pesh kare तो वो जब पेश की तो सबसे पहले या दूसरे नंबर पे मियां खुर्शीद थे मियां अहमद थे और हजरत साहब थे जो के गाड़ी सामने खड़ी थी इसी तरह बाकी सारे बुजुर्ग थे तो जब उन्होंने पेश की तो एक सीनियर बुजुर्ग ने मुझे बड़ी शिद्दत के साथ डांटा कि ये कोई वक्त है चाय का और इसका हुजूर की वफात हुई हुई है लोग सफर पे जा रहे हैं और तुम यहां चाय का इंतजाम कर रहे हो तो मेरा ये था कि जाहिर बुजुर्ग लोग हैं शुगर का मसला है कमजोरी हो जाती है कोई भी चीज हो सकती तो वो तो जरूरत तो साथ लगी हुई है लेकिन एनीवे मैं डर गया उस वक्त डांट खा के तो अब मैंने मुतवक्को नजरों से हजरत साहब की तरफ देखना शुरू कर दिया क्योंकि नाज साहब वाला तो वो थे और अमीर भी वही थे तो मैंने कहा अब ये पहली डांट इनसे पड़ी है तो दूसरी अब हजरत साहब से पड़ेगी तो हजरत साहब ने मुझे देखा और कुछ कुछ कहा नहीं उन्होंने खामोशी से चाय का कप उठाया और पीना शुरू कर दिया मतलब वहां से उन्होंने अमली तौर पे मुझे यह बता दिया कि कोई बात नहीं और जाहिर है जरूरत है तो पेश कर दो तो बाद में फिर दो तीन बुजुर्गों ने मुझे कहा कि शुक्र है तुमने दे दी हमने तो दवाई खानी थी तो दवाई खाने से बैठे हुए थे तो जाहिर है वो मौके की मुनासिबत से वो फिर इस झीम भी रहे थे इस बात से कि हम कुछ खाने को मांगे लेकिन वो हजरत साहब ने संभाल लिया उस उस सूरत हाल को वन आज खलीफा मसीह राव रे रहमतुल्लाह ताला पास्ट रे इट वाज एन इमेंस फीलिंग ऑफ बीइंग अ शीप और अ हर्ड ऑफ शीप विदाउट अ शेपर्ड द फर्स्ट न्यूज़ ऑफ एनी सपोर्ट or strength which i remember receiving that there was a waft coming from uh, from rabwa comprising of marhum mirza khushid ahmed saab and marhum uh, mirza ulam ahmed saab and uh, mirza masoor ahmed saab a lot of the members of the electoral college from pakistan arrived in in, in england because it contained lots of directors of Tariq al-Jadid and Sadr al-Anjuman Ahmadiyya it was felt necessary that someone from Hazrat Khalifa Masih Rabi's family go to the airport and receive them along with from what i remember Amir Saab UK Rafiq Ahmed Hayat Saab was there and several other people and i was the person who went to the airport and one of the things that struck me is that he out of all the people that got off the plane that day and of all the people we received he was the most calm out of all of them and the most tranquil and the most at ease with the situation so he met me with a great deal of love as soon as they landed we were all of us uh, were there or there about in masjid fazal and when i heard i hurried towards the guest house 65 i can still remember that feeling of uh, a joy a sort of a joy after when i saw them and as i entered all of all of the people who were sitting although i was young so young to all of them they must have done it to everyone but all of them stood up we hugged each other and uh, if there were any emotion they were uh, you know kept very quiet and then <coughs> i escorted him to the coffin area so he inspected the coffin and saw it and then he <clears throat> looked into the security duties whatever we were doing it and he was satisfied then mr shahzad amsurahmad sahab 
uh, called a meeting and started uh, planning. Those images that we have captured, I have filmed some, uh, Said Akil Shah Saab has filmed some, so those were getting, going to be reviewed and, and aired on MTA to let the public also, who can't attend, see Hazur's um, blessed face. But none of us, me or Akil Saab, were happy with the filming that we did because of the way that the body was inside the coffin, because of the, 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 the way the light was and it was, it was reflecting some shadows on the face also. It didn't look really nice and I, I didn't want to Huzur to be the last images transmitted to be remembered in, in, in that way. And it wasn't really what, what he looked like. He, his face, you couldn't really believe that this is a face of someone who's passed away. The alternative was really to take the body out of the coffin and, and film it that way. Um, but I wasn't even sure it's, 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 a, it's, it's an okay thing to do and to suggest. And I, s I said to myself, let the more senior members make, make that decision and choice. So me and Akil Saab were standing in the MTO's office under the, under the monitor while this video was playing. And in that meeting, the chairman of MTA was sitting there with senior members from um, Rabwa as well as London. And amongst them was Sahib Zada Mirza Masroor Rahmat Sahib. And he was sitting against the wall towards the TVs. Uh, me and Akil Saab were sitting quietly and the discussion was whether this, this is good enough or it's not good enough. I chose to remain quiet and everybody was almost saying you know, this is good enough, this is the best you can get, to the point that it was almost, almost final. And all I remember is Sahib Zada Mirza Masroor Ahmad Sahib, just out of the blue, he looks towards me and Akil Sahib and asks me, Oh, this Sahib, what do you think? I, I couldn't, even with, with that opportunity, I couldn't even say anything. I, I was emotional and I couldn't even express myself. Properly. And he, he, then he said to me, so you think it's better to take the body out and film it? And, and that kind of really took me by surprise, as if he's, 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 he's read my mind. And then I just nodded, I said, yes, I think it's better if we, if we, if we do that. And uh, then the decision was made to, um, to come after Asa, um, to bring the body, put it on the... Um, in Mahmoud Hall, and then we filmed the body again, and those pictures really were of a totally different level altogether. The police have cordoned off the surrounding roads, allowing tens of thousands of grieving MD Muslims to stand at the gates of the London Mosque. Saib Zada Mirza Masoor Ahmed Saib was making his way from the 41 guest house to the main mosque area, perhaps to the Mahmood Hall. And um, as he entered Greston Hall Road, there was a huge crowd of people across the road and his pathway was blocked. People would just part for him. And so he was able to get to where he needed to without any sort of hindrance. But the real thing I recall is the atmosphere at the time, the way people were looking at him. There was, I, you could hear whispers, you could hear people talking. It's something I'll never forget because there was a real electricity in the air at that moment. He was standing outside Masjid Fazl and he was completely surrounded by people. Everyone wanted to come and pay his respects to him and express their, their condolences to him. And there were so many people, and he met with all of them. But the situation became quite dangerous because they were, you know, anybody could have taken advantage there. So eventually, I held his hand and literally, you know, t took him out of the crowd and took him upstairs because the thing was that we could have been a dangerous situation. But he himself was there for everyone. He was prepared to share everyone's uh, sorrow. Despite Amir Saab's security concerns, the highest ranking office bearer of the Amdi Muslim community continues to stand among the crowd. 
So because of so many people, uh, the, the mosque was overflowing and there were uh, prayer mats were be, had been laid out um, in all nooks and corners. And this prayer mat was just in a corner uh, right next to flower beds. And, uh, you know, it was not a very best of the places to, to have your... Uh, it was very tight and everything. But I sat there with uh, my cousin, uh, Sayyid Tahir Ahmed. And we were sitting there and I got a glimpse of uh, Nazri Allah coming for prayers. And he saw us and, and there was a, just a little space with us and he came and sat with us. Uh, of course, he was being escorted by security at the time because he was Nazri Allah. So the fellow who was Mr. Nasser, who was on security with him, he asked him that, you know, please don't offer you, please come inside or, you know, places inside. But I think, I think he kept sitting over there. He said, it's, it's fine. But I remember distinctly and vividly saying to my, myself that how humble and uh, how humble this person is and how extreme is his humility. As the day passes, grief-stricken MDs are still unable to find contentment. That time was just fraught with tension. I'm thinking I, this is maybe something wrong. Uh, why? I'm, I'm young and I'm a, a very or weak person. Maybe some mistake in, to put my name in this committee. It's a very holy committee and and uh, I come to my mind that now the ambulance coming and they took me to the hospital. I, 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 um, I feel something, I'm going to die. Really, this is not a joke. I still remember remarking um, or mentioning to my friend that everything feels so um, incomplete without a Khalifa. I remember saying that yeah, I really, really can't wait until tomorrow, until the election of Khilafat and until we have some sort of leadership again. The day of the election has finally arrived and worshippers at the London Mosque are now almost overwhelmed with anxiety. I was in extreme state of fear for, for myself for my belief, for my faith. I put in my mind before I leave uh, Kababir, someone to nominate uh, his name uh, like, uh, Khalifa. Like, and I was not full with Atmanan with uh, about his. Uh... But there can be no delays. As the darkness of the night approaches, members of the electoral college form a queue at the mosque's entrance. In the end of the line. Uh, I stopped there and recently came two person came to from the left uh, side. One I know him. He was Hamidullah Shadri Hamidullah, the uh, Wakili Ala Sahib. Uh, and uh, another person. This person, I uh, when he came, I, I saw uh, Roshni, is like spark, Noor coming from his face to my heart. And I start ask myself, who is this person? I know the, the Jamaat people. Who is this? I don't know uh, this person. I walked in with the Muslim Surah into the mosque. And we sat right at the back, both of us. Or right at the last people to go in. We sat at the back. And in fact, he gave me his mobile phone. He said, if it's not supposed to take this in, but you hold on to it in case uh, we have to make any contact. I was sitting in the library of Hazrat Khalifa Masi Rabi's residence. A lot of our family members were there. And throughout this period, absolutely everyone was just silent. There was absolute quiet and everyone was just praying. The secretary, Imam Saab, and uh, the Sadr Ijlas, uh, Shadr Hamidullah uh, Sahib, and uh, they start to read the rules and uh, uh, in the end, they ask who we want to nominate names. Okay, there's some people stop up and they start mention names. When they mention names, my heart's close and refuse. I told myself, why is this 
bad feeling. They are holy man. Why is his feeling? Now it's not your aql because you didn't know the CV. Who is this person? Something like another systems work now. Refuse, refuse, refuse. Someone a mention same person. I thought uh, about him to to nominate him. Uh, and I ask myself, okay, raise, uh, you raise your hand. This is the, I, I, I feel like Falish. I can move my hand and his name fall down. Amir Saab, Germany, asked the uh, Sadr Ijlas to ask him to st stood up to, to see those, the face of those uh, people. Because we came from different countries, east, west, north, south. Okay, when they mention Masroor Ahmad, I'm looking, where is Masroor Ahmad? He was in my group in the end where we removed the shoes in the, in the, near the door. And he's, he's crying. And he, when I saw him, he's the same person. I saw him before he came from his face, Noor. I say, this is the Khalifa. So Hazrat Sahib ka jab naam pech hua aur unho ne vote ke liye بکارا کہ جی اب جو ان کے حق میں ہیں تو خود بخود ہاتھ کھڑے ہو گئے تھے اور میں اکثر کے بارے میں جانتا ہوں کہ ان کے خود بخود ہاتھ کھڑے ہو گئے تھے ہم نے نہیں کھڑے کی نہ اس سے پہلے ہمارا کوئی ارادہ تھا نہ کوئی ایسی سوچ تھی کوئی تین دن میں میرے ذہن میں ایک بھی سوچ نہیں آئی السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ تمام احباب جماعت حائے احمدیہ کی اطلاع کے لیے اعلان کیا جاتا ہے کہ آج مورخہ بائیس اپریل سن دو ہزار تین مجلس انتخاب خلافت کا اجلاس بسدارت محترم چودری حمید اللہ صاحب منعقد ہوا اور اس کے بعد مکرم و محترم صاحب زادہ مرزا مسرور احمد صاحب سلمہو ربہو کو خلیفت المسیح منتخب کیا When the name of the Khalifa was announced, it was an almost instantaneous, do you want to call it magic moment, spell. You feel the amn, you feel the happiness, you feel the sa'ada of the farah of tama'nina or sukoon, direct, in, 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 like switch. It was an amazing feeling, that fear that I had for the last few days, it was lifted. It was, it was, you know, your hearts were filled with, with happiness and joy. Although I, you've never met that individual, you've never interacted with him. You don't know what he's like, you don't know what, what how to, to but it's, it's that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made his choice through this council. It instilled that peace again that you had lost in the last few days. وعد الله الذين آمنوا منكم وعملوا الصالحات لا يستخلف لهم في الأرض كما استخلف الذين من قبلهم ولا يمكن أن لهم دينهم الذي تضع لهم ولا يبدل أنهم من بعد خوفهم أمنا أباب جماعة سيصرف أكثر خاصة كي أجكل دعوان في زور دين دعوان في زور دين دعاؤں پر زور دیں بہت دعائیں کریں بہت دعائیں کریں بہت دعائیں کریں اللہ تعالیٰ اپنی تعاید و نصرت فرمائے اور احمدیت کا کہ ایک آفلہ اپنی ترقیات کی طرف روان دوان رہے When we were inside and everyone was standing up inside the mosque for the mosque this is the electric college and Hazur asked everyone to sit down because he was going to say something and uh, I think Imam Sahib announced that Hazur has said uh, you should sit down and people outside heard it as well and those thousands of people who were standing on the road everywhere they immediately sat down every person no matter where they were they immediately sat down Ashhadu Ashhadu Allah ilaha Allah ilaha illallah illallah 
وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله آج میں مسرور کے ہاتھ پر مسرور کے ہاتھ پر بیت کر کے بیت کر کے جماعت احمدیہ جماعت احمدیہ مسلمہ میں مسلمہ میں داخل ہوتا ہوں ابا کی وفات سے کوئی دس گیارہ سال پہلے میں نے خواب دیکھی تھی کہ میں ایک کمرے میں کھڑی ہوں اور خیالی کمرے سامنے دو دروازے ہیں اور میں رو رہی ہوں بہت سادہ رو رہی ہوں اکیلی کھڑی ہوں اور میں کہہ رہی ہوں کہ میرے ابا صرف دس سال رہے ہیں تو میں دیکھتی ہوں کہ ایک دروازہ کھل ہے اور یہ حضور آئے ہیں اندر اور میرے پاس سا کے کھڑے ہو کے موت سے کچھ نہیں کہہ رہے لیکن جیسے تسلی کے لیے ہلکا سا ٹھکی پیچھے سے دیتے ہیں کہ چھپ کر جا لیکن میں روئی جا رہی ہوں روئی جا رہی ہوں تو دوسرا دروازہ کھلتا ہے اور اس میں سے ابا جھانگتے ہیں اور ابا کہتے ہیں مجھے دیکھ کے کہ رو نہ اب میاں مسرور تمہارا خیال رکھیں گے اس خواب سے تو بالکل یقین تھا کہ یہی ہیں شاید اگلے حضور لیکن ابا کو نہیں میں نے بتائی تھی اس وقت کیونکہ امی کے فات کے بھی کچھ چند ہی نے گزرے تھے لیکن جب ابا بیمار ہوئے تھے مجھے ایک دن لگ رہا تھا کہ بہت بیچین جیسے ہیں ابا تو سب میں نے ابا کو یہ خواب سنا دی تھی اور ابا کے چہرے پہ بڑی مسکراہت اور بہت خوشی آئی تھی چہرے پہ مجھے کچھ کہا نہیں لیکن ایک عجیب سی مسکراہت اور خوشی تھی چہرے پہ اور سر ہلانا شروع کر دیا تھا کہ ہاں جیسے ہاں میں مطلب مجھے پتا ہے I stayed in London uh, several days after the Intakhab al-Khalafat um, and then on Sunday morning I had to go back to university because I had exams coming up and I remember asking the private secretary whether I could meet Fazul before I left and I'd only just made this request that Manid Javed Saab he went into the office and he came out saying I could go in um, And Hazul was sitting there at his desk and he told me to sit down. I remember the very first thing he said to me was that things aren't going to be any different with me. If there's ever anything you need, if there's ever anything you need to speak to us to speak about, you can turn to me in the same way that you were able to turn to your grandfather. Sayyadi, Mushfiti, Murshidi, Meherba Humne behre khuda Teri bayat jo ki Tu hamara hua Hum tere ho gaye Tu hum tere ho gaye There were some few names suggested and I don't know how I was elected and I was elected anyway. روحانیت کی عجب رو چلی شب گزیدوں کو پھر روشنی مل گئی قرمزی شب ہوئی دن ہرے ہو گئے قرمزی As the head of the worldwide Muslim community it is my duty that I should draw the attention of the world towards establishing peace I consider this my obligation because Islam's very meaning is peace and security. Today, the institution of Khilafat is striving for peace in every possible way and to spread love and affection throughout the world. ہم تیرے ہو گئے
तू हमारा हुआ हम तेरे हो गए